This is a demo of the Verizon Network Detection and Response Platform. The NDR platform is a full packet capture, network detection, response, and visualization for real-time and retrospective threat analysis. We're going to walk through the heads-up display and then go into an investigation. This is the heads-up display. What we're showing here is a visualization of all of the network traffic that we are capturing via lightweight sensors. The sensors are displayed on the left-hand side here, and these are free software sensors that can be deployed anywhere on the network off of a span or a network tap. The radar that's sweeping in the center here, this is our connections graph. This is highlighting connections based on geolocation. Your external connections are highlighted out here, so we can see these connections coming from certain countries. The middle ring highlights connections based on volume from certain IPs externally. And then if there is threat that shows up, these two internal rings here are internal hosts. So we can see the top talkers internally and if any threats are associated to them. On the right hand side, this is our attack spiral. What we are mapping here are observations or indicators of compromise and events to their stage of the Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain. Out here in blue, this is reconning, and then as the threats move higher up the kill chain, they'll move closer to the center. So we'll move through delivery, exploit, beaconing, command and control, lateral movement, and actions on objective here in the center. On the far right hand side are the events that the incident responder would work off of. Think of this as an inbox or a to-do list. So the events are listed here. The colors are corresponding to high level threats in red, medium level threats in orange, and low level threats in yellow. Let's jump into an event. This event is a kill chain progression. We see delivery to data theft on a host. So when we click view event, we'll move now into kill box. This is where the incident responder really conducts their investigation. What we can see here now is the internal host, we can see some details on that host, and then that connection out to the external host here in the US. We're able to see a little bit more detail about why the NDR solution identified this as a potential event by these two observations. We can drill into these observations for more detail, or we can start the investigation at that internal host. If we click on the Intel tab, we're now going to bring up details from that inter internal device. We can see the Carbon Black Defense Summary, CrowdStrike Summary, Carbon Black Response Summary, or AWS, depending on what integrations the customer has. These are just API integrations to those endpoints to be able to pull additional information about that device over. We're also able to see the threat intel history. Has anything else been happening on this host? Uh, and how far back do we need to see that? by going into the activity intel. We can now see when observations were created and when events were generated. Going into the TCP stream viewer here by clicking on that little arrow allows us to get a lot more visibility into what actually triggered this alert. In this case, we are looking at data theft. So if I go in and search for password, within that TCP stream, I'm able to see very quickly my user email and password that were compromised in this phishing attack. So the TCP stream gives the incident responder a lot more detail right at their fingertips. If they want to get deeper into the details, they're also able to download the full PCAP. If we look at the external host, we can now see threat intel details on that external host. So this is telling us, has anybody else in the environment seen a threat related to this external IP? What's the timeline for when we started seeing observations from this IP and creating events from the IP? The network intel is presented here, so some of these details are very helpful for the incident responder to keep at their fingertips so they don't have to be bouncing around to different sites. The DNS intel is here as well with that, all the DNS records that resolve to this IP, and a quick pivot into RISC-IQ's passive total product. The last area on the intel tab is the IP details with pivots into malware.com, abuse IP, and pastebin. 
as well as Recorded Future, where we're partnering and pulling a lot of this detail. Now let's jump from the investigation into a more proactive threat hunt. We can see there's a few integrations here that we can leverage on the external IP. The first one that we'll go into is a query of the Palo Alto firewall logs. This is an API call out to the Palo Altos if that is what the customer is running for a firewall. We can now see that IP both as a source and destination and view the logs to see what action was taken on that IP by our firewall. If we were allowing it and we want to take an action on it, we can click on the lightning bolt and add that to a Palo Alto remediation list. Now we jump into the magnifying glass here to be able to do more threat hunting on this IP. Explorer is our search engine for all of the packet data that we are capturing and retaining for our customers. So they're able to go in and in this case pivot on an external IP and see who else within the environment is communicating with that IP. In this case we only see one host. But if we were to change this query and look at something like all threats that are popping up at high, medium, or low, and potentially open up our time frame a little bit, we're going to get a bigger picture as to what's been going on in the environment, in this case over the last 24 hours or so. And now we can see in the constellation view what external IPs represented by a hollow circle are communicating to internal IPs or internal devices that we have device IDs for. The constellation view gives us one way to interpret the data, but we can also map this via a column view so that you can see your internal host on the right here and your external host on the left, as well as be able to label those for quick reference. The last way that we can visualize the data is a geolocated view. This allows for the visual interpretation of data uh, and allows that incident responder to focus their effort on potentially connections that are more concerning based on where they are connecting to or from. That is the basic walkthrough of the NDR solution. Thank you for your time.